Semadon TV Semadon TV Semadon TV How I love Jesus Because He first loves me Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Oh, how I love Jesus Because Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loves me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Because he first loved me. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. How I love Jesus because He first loves me. Sing it, everybody. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh. Lift up your right hand as you stand on your feet. Buzeke lu ishe zulu loi. Buzeke kbere lu ishe omoe. Father in heaven. My father and my God. I worship you. I know you are here. I know you are watching. I know you have seen. I know you can do it for us. I know you can surprise us. I know you can surprise our enemies. I know you can break yokes. You have done it before. You can do it again. We lift up our hands of prayer. We lift up our hands of war. And we call on you, Father. Do not allow us to search you in vain. Do not allow the enemy to twist our destiny. That treasure that you gave us, that blessing that you gave us, may they look at us. All our hanging blessings, all our hanging testimonies. Child of God, I declare in the presence of Jesus Christ, if you can shout a loud amen, they will fall into your life. Did I hear you shout another loud amen? We lift up our hands and we speak to God. There is something bothering us, Lord. There is something eating us up, Lord. And we are in pain and misery. We want you to come and help us. We want you to make us move forward in life. We don't have any time to waste. We will not stop praying. We will not stop 
enjoying your presence. We will not stop communing with you. Help us to be at our best. Help us to be at our best. Help us to be at our best. Almighty God, hear our prayers as we ask you to grant us the joy to experience tears of joy. May this be our portion in Jesus' name. Father, I come against every power of destruction. I come against every power of destruction. I come against every power distracting us from our promised land. We destroy them with the Holy Ghost. Let the church release the fire. Holy Ghost! Every power that is ganging up to destroy our blessings, ganging up to destroy what God said we shall be, we destroy with the Holy Ghost! The Holy Ghost! Every power of the enemy pursuing us without us knowing that they are the one pursuing us as we call on this fire, let the fire burn them to ashes. Let the fire burn them to ashes. The Holy Ghost. Every spirit of backwardness, every spirit of failure that the enemy has sent into our families, he has sent into our lives, we come against them with the Holy Ghost. Every satanic evil garment of shame, that the enemy has sold for anyone here. Every garment of shame in your family, every garment of shame in your family, that the enemy may have sold for somebody in your family, planning to bring disgrace, planning to bring shame upon your husband, upon your wife, upon your children, because you serve God, because you follow God, I come against that evil garment, and I destroy that garment with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. We lift up our right hand of war, and we say, Father, as we embark on this reflection, invoking tears of joy, into our lives. Let your name be glorified. Yeah. Wave that hand and shout amen three times. Yeah. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now sit down, bring out your pamphlets. What we are supposed to do yesterday, we do now. There are many ways a Christian expresses his or her relationship, intimacy, and emotional feeling towards God in worship and adoration. Some roll several times on the floor. Some wave their hands. And some shed tears in worship. Tears can come from the eyes of a believer during a deep meditation on the awesome power of God on the awesome mercy of God, on the awesome love of God. There is a way God will bless you. There is a way God will demonstrate his presence in your life. You will just see yourself shedding tears. You will say, who am I? Who am I? Why is God doing this to me? Why is God so patient? Somebody can have an accident and the car will smash like a match bus. The person will come out, look at the car, and tears will begin to gush out the person's eyes. Why is he crying? He's not crying because his car has been damaged. He's crying because he has experienced and encountered the mercy of God. During spiritual worship, a lot of people can shed tears. You see tears running down their cheek. Tears can mean many things. It can be something demonstrating your sorrow. It may also display your humility. It may also display your joy. Of course, the popular one we know is pain. 
Death can also come when one sees his or herself in abject poverty. Will you remember your family? You remember where you come from? You see all your efforts wasted because of poverty. You begin to cry. You see that you are very, very unworthy of certain things happening around you. Sometimes you say, who am I to own this house? Who am I to build this? Who am I to win this contract? And before you know what is happening, you begin to cry. You begin to shed tears. Amen and amen. It happened in the Bible in the time of uh, Isaiah. When Isaiah saw the glory of God, Isaiah opened his mouth and said, Woe to me, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. He, he, he saw unworthiness. He behold the glory of God, and he said, Oh, oh, I'm a man of unclean lips. One way of expressing our heartfelt joy, gratitude, and appreciation to God during prayer is to cry. A lot of people shed tears. You hear that, oh, that your child, that they call barren, is now pregnant because of your prayer. You enter your room and say, God, you have done this for me. You did not allow them to laugh at me. So tears of joy is a reality. It has happened in many people's lives. And if you have faith through this program, it will happen in your life. Yeah. I say it will happen in your life. Yeah. Tears of joy come when we experience unmerited or unexpected favor. If a man, you go a man, God will just do it. So great that we cannot express it in words. Sometimes you will meet somebody crying. Say, what is now? Waiting, you just they cry. Waiting happen, you just they cry. Kiro, owakwa, owakwa, because in here many to enya. I pray for anyone whose amen will be very loud. In here, in here, in here, to enya. Okay, my name for Jesus. In here, God to enya. Okay, my to the Lord, name for Jesus. It shall happen in the life of your children. Be seated in Jesus' name. This can be seen in Mary, our mother. When the angel declared to her the mission that God has for her, she could not but say, My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. It is obvious that while she was saying that, there may be tears on her cheek. There may be tears in her eyes when she was saying that. When she was saying that, she must have been crying. She must have been crying. Or see when you can walk. Or see my soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Or see he has looked down on me. Lonely handmaid. Or see henceforth. Oh all generations will call me blessed. Or see for the Lord has done such great things for me. Holy is his name. That magnificent is a song. As a result of tears of joy. I pray for 21 persons here. As you expect, so shall it be for you. You shall surely have tears of joy. Elizabeth was mocked. Elizabeth was laughed at. Somebody who, has, who is going to have tears of joy here is somebody that they mocked and somebody that they laughed at. If you know you are here, they have been mocking you. They have been laughing at you. Well, I call you, no. you have heard people say many things like me. They have mocked me. They are waiting to see my downfall. If you know you are among us, those that they are mocking, because we are worshipping God, because we are following God, whether they like it or not, God will surprise them. Did I hear you shout a loud amen for your children? Can I hear you shout a loud amen for your wife? Can I hear you shout the loud amen for Father Dibia? Can I hear you shout loud amen for everybody here? Lift up your hand and shout amen seven times.
tears of joy. It will come when God answers your prayer. When God gives you answer to the mockery of people. When God gives you answer to when people are mocking you. God answers them. When God answers the question, that thing that they said will not happen, God will say, I will do it for you. Somebody, are you hearing me now? Let somebody connect for your children now. Connect it for your children now. Shout it loud, amen. The Bible says, remember Elizabeth. Remember that your relative Elizabeth. It is she that she cannot. It is said that she cannot have children. They say, no, go feed, bump, begin. They say, no, go feed, bump, begin. I say, remember her? Mary, I say, yes. I say, but I tell you solemnly, she is in her six months. I want to prophesy that somebody here who has been waiting on the Lord for a blessing your blood answer has been there six months ago. The answer is there six months ago. After this program, it will manifest. At the right time, it will manifest. At the proper time, it will manifest. At the right time, it will manifest. The answer is there six months ago. That is a good news for somebody here. That thing you have been asking God. God has given it to you six months ago. God has given it to you six months ago. God has given it to you six months ago. The answer has been received. Your letter has been approved. Your application has been approved. Am I hearing somebody shout a man? I said shout a loud man. In Jesus' name we pray. Mary was praying for Elizabeth. Not knowing that God has answered it six months ago. Mary was a prayer warrior. Every time she was praying for Elizabeth, God said, Hey, that prayer you have been praying for that your son, I have given him that job six months ago. I'm just waiting for the proper time for the manifestation. Somebody, are you hearing me now? I pray by the power on this altar that our answer has been released six months ago. The answer that you will build a house has been released six months ago. The answer to your prayer that you want to marry, God has approved it six months ago. The answer that you want to succeed in what you are doing, God has answered you six months ago. I repeat, six months ago. I repeat, six months ago. And the Lord said to Mary, your relative Elizabeth, whom they call barren, I want to let you know, I have answered her prayer six months ago. Not just yesterday, not now. I have answered her prayer six months ago. Somebody hear me. God has answered you six months ago. And through this program, it shall manifest. It shall manifest. It shall manifest. It shall manifest. That is why we are here. We are here to pray for manifestation. The Bible says the whole universe, they are waiting for the manifestations of our blessing. Your blessing will manifest. Your six month miracle will manifest. Your one year miracle will manifest. If you believe, shout a loud amen. Tears of joy. Or that six months ago, she whom they call barren. Even though she is very old, I don't care your biological status. There is one I want to let you know that theology is more than biology. Theology made biology. God made man in his own image. It is not man that made God. So whatever you are passing through, I want you to have faith. Look up to this altar and believe that when you say amen, fire will move from this altar and solve your problem for you. Look up to Jesus. If you can say loud amen, power, power will leave this order and locate your body now. I don't know what they say about you. I don't know what they are thinking about you. But take it from this altar. The answer to your prayer, that prayer that has made you to be shedding tears, God has answered this six months ago. Ma, 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 ma. Ah, la kashere ma basoroma. Ye bokon shende rima sire ma kula bakashere ma. In her six months, 
I don't know why people are mocking you. I don't know. Let me tell you, it is not all prayer answer that can bring about tears. There is a kind of answer to your prayer. And the prayer is as a result of nobody insult. When, they are, when you have heard it, like me, I have heard many things that, that is not good. Sometimes I hear them talk about people. I hear them talk about us. I hear them talk about some people and I say, wow, why is this woman thinking like this? Why is this man thinking like this? Why are they thinking like this? Why, what did they have in mind? Why should they be thinking such thoughts in them concerning you, concerning me? Imagine somebody saying, it goes soon for, it goes soon for, it goes soon for, it goes soon for. And suddenly, you see yourself just one step to fall and God delivered you. What happens to you? You will say, God, thank you. People are waiting to see you die. They heard that they have taken you to the hospital. And you heard them say, you're not going to come back. And God miraculously cured you. And you come back. Take it from me. On the day of your thanksgiving, they will follow and eat rice. I say they will join and thank God with you. Our problem is people's mouth. You will hear somebody say, because of what they will say, I don't like people. Say, no way. God will answer you. Tears of joy comes when God makes you a triumph over prolonged wickedness of satanic power. When you have suffered from the devil, for instance, in the book of Tobit, Sarah suffered in the hands of the devil for many years. Eh? People started calling her winch to the point that all her husband died. She suffered a prolonged problem. A prolonged attack. A prolonged that everybody has accepted that that is her destiny from nowhere. Reverse. Reverse. I pray someone here. Hear me. Even though people have called you name because of what you are passing through. That barren woman. That one when the husband pursued. I don't care how many years. Maybe 35 years or 38 years. If you have faith, look at Jesus now. Look at Jesus now. Look at him now. Look at him now. He says, just as Moses lifted up, just as, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so the Son of Man will be lifted up. And all those who look up to him shall be saved. Look up to him now. For whatever you are, I prophesy. Let there be a release of miracle that will turn your story for a testimony. From this altar, receive power. From this altar, receive strength. From this altar, receive healing. From this altar, receive your testimony. Somebody shout amen three times. I don't know what they are thinking. Let me tell you, children of God, I come to realize that this world is a battleground. Whether I am building house, whether I am enjoying, whether I am celebrating wedding, I have come to know that this world is a battleground. I read the Bible where Jesus was talking to Peter. It never made sense to me until as I'm getting old and I'm seeing how people are getting in touch with that passage of the Bible and I have become conscious of myself. Hear what the Bible says. The Bible says to Peter, Peter, time is coming when you will no longer go where you want to go. Time is coming when they will tie you and they will take you to a place you don't want to go. Father, that passage is deep. It is not just talking about people attacking. I reflected on the death of Tony Dibier. And this passage came to my mind. And what came to my mind was this. People, listen to me everybody. As I am now, I can decide to go to Federal Medical Center I can decide 
to go to Shalom Medical Center. If I have headache, I have pain, where I want to go, I can go. Why? Because I am still in control of myself. Child of God, there is a time when you may, you may not be in control of yourself. That is why we keep on praying. Time is coming when you will not be in control of yourself. Where you don't even want to go, they will take you there. Are you prepared for that time? It's coming. Where you will be telling them, take me to this place. They will say, banketing, banketing, banketing. They will carry you to where you don't want to go. Time is coming. Jesus said it to Peter. I said, time is coming, Peter. When people will tie you and take you to where you don't want to go. Even though you have 20 million in your account or 10 million that can take you to where you think you will go. Time is coming when they will tell you this is where you will go. Time is coming when they will take us to where we don't want to go. That is why I need make you one I need a medical to know why they are in Take it easy. Calm down. Now time is coming when they shall carry you to where you don't want to go. Even though you know they are taking you there and you are telling them, no, don't take me there. Or they are taking you there and you said, I don't want to go there. They will force you to go. And that time, not only there will force you, situation, your condition, the pain in you, the tears in you, the agony in you, the whole big power in you, the confusion in you. That is why you got to pray for your priest. There are many women here, your husband told you what he wanted and you stood by it. You refused to change. Your husband told you, hey, when I die, don't take my cup to the village. Bury me there. You agree? And even in death, you stood firm. Even in that, you stood firm. You said, yeah, Jim Kuhon. that is the way my husband wants it. And nobody, no Jupiter, can change it. In that, in that, you stand firm for your wife. This is what my wife said. And my wife's decision is final. Nobody can change it. Sometimes I sit down and I ask myself some question. Father Mario, you go to where you want to go. You eat what you want to eat. Time is coming. When you will eat what you don't want to eat. <laughs> Am I prepared for that? You know. Do you know that when somebody is sick and it is time for the person to die, and the person is not aware that it is time for him or her to die. Even when the person is going to the hospital, he will say, put on him a table. The person will say, keep it on me under the table. When I come back, I will take it. Not knowing that that is the last time he is leaving his room. That is the last time he's leaving the house. That is the last time. He will never come back to that house again. Why I have decided to preach today was that last night I was talking with father and he was far away at NBC and he said, I hope I will be able to meet him. He goes slow. I said, no problem. I will be there. Anytime you come. If you don't meet us, tomorrow you do. But I want to tell you the truth that since recent happenings, look at me, people of God, even yesterday here again, we lost another Reverend Father. And this father is a popular father. Anybody here that has gone to Catholic Secretariat or you have traveled for pilgrimage, he was the father in charge for many years. 
Reverend Father Louis Odudu of Worry Diocese. Pia. Odudu Allah. He was kidnapped a few, few weeks ago. And he was able to run away from the camp. But he could not survive the trauma of that episode. What is this word? Can't can they, can they, can they be anyone's self? But despite all these things happening around us, we are not okay. I was asking myself, why are we acquiring all these things we are acquiring? Why are we wasting our time pursuing so many things? Let me tell you, the enemy is pushing us. You know, Father said yesterday that in the labor room, the language is push. And push can be described in many ways. Apart from the, 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 the what we call pray until something happens. Push is push. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, they hear me? Eh? I say push is what? Push. Come. This is push. It's not pray until something happens. Who will push? <laughs> this is the real push. Huh? Join me. Join me and push it. <laughs> Please. Come, come, come. Maybe we have one woman who is also an agent of darkness. Come, come, come. Is somebody understanding me? Oh yeah, push. Never push me. Push. <laughs> Ask 21 persons. Who is pushing you? 21 persons. Ask them. 21. Who is pushing you? <laughs> who is pushing you? Hey! Oh yeah, let me. pushing you. In a car language, on my car, kill a nui, kill a mayhem, on your nui, I pray for 400 persons here. Every evil hand pushing you, I destroy. Every evil hand pushing you, I destroy. Sit down. There is a way in That is why many of us are pushed into trouble. Something they know am killing time. Pushing you to steal. Pushing you to fornicate. Pushing you to commit adultery. Pushing you to lie. Something is pushing you. Something is pushing you. But I pray that that evil that is pushing you shall be consumed by fire. Here will end me. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost. 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 Push means application of force. There is an application of force. You don't push. Touch is not push. Father, touch is not push. Push. <laughs> In the transfer of energy. Only God is the move mover. But everything can be pushed. Except God. Philosophers, I hear you that. 
Something is pushing you. Thinking that that thing will help you. On a why? On a why? Not knowing that it is unto destruction. I don't know what is pushing me. Go, 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 go there. Pack, go there. Do this thing. Get me. I was discussing with somebody and I said, Come. In three years, where do you want to settle? You keep running away from problems. Problems are everywhere. They are low, honey. You want to leave your husband? Yes. Why? You leave your husband. You marry another husband. Oh, honey, can you book? Honey, can you book? I don't want to get And that's what is killing our men. We keep changing women. Something is pushing us. Something was pushed until pushed to Delilah. Come on, go and dust your old files. Go and dust your old files. All these new new people coming around you. In here, nuko, nuko, nuko. Depending on what is pushing you, if what is pushing you is the energy of God, better. The energy of God can never push you to fall. It is the energy of devil that will push you to fall. Even though you are on a staircase like this, and the energy of God push you, you will flow. It is the energy of Satan that will make you fall. Many of us are falling because power has pushed us. Something has pushed us. Let me tell you, the worst state and the most dangerous state for any man is the state of decision. The state of decision. Because oh, I hate people who can be who can take it easy. Do you know what? It can take you three years to take a decision when you know that this decision. You are not sure of who is pushing you. And the moment it is God that is pushing you, within six months, you will accomplish everything again. You must have the grace to say no. You must have the grace to say no or wait. Wait. You have the power to pause your vision. When you are not sure. And it, it's not all that glitters that are gold. I have a daughter here who lived in a house for years without knowing what is there until God opened her eyes. It is not everywhere that is livable. Am I talking to somebody? It's not every compound that you should settle. It's not every woman that you should marry. Even God instructed his own people and said to them, don't marry from there. And when Solomon made the mistake and married, the kingdom scattered. Carried many concubines. When I have made the mistake and married, you could see what Jezebel did to the people of God. That was why God said, hey, there, be careful. Many of us are in pain. But you need a miracle. You need God's intervention. Even as I stand before you, I am in pain because I don't like the way this my brother priest died. And as I say, time will come, you are taken to where you don't want to go. Do you know what it means for you to have a car parked outside and you cannot drive it? You know what it means? Your car is parked outside and you want to drive to, to go and buy something and you cannot drive it. But the car is there with fuel. The engine is in order. And you cannot enter. You cannot drive it. That is why Egberege Remma you are not coming for prayer only to solve problems. You are also coming to prevent 
who came. What we are doing here now, if you know what God is doing with it, the raw materials we are giving to God, and God is using it to work now, you will not believe. But I know one thing, that God sees. He sees your effort. He sees my effort. When somebody dies, like they have declared me dead, and one of, one, somebody who called me from, from, from Lagos said, Father Dibye, I don't know I loved you so much like this. I said, what do you mean? He said, I don't know. One of my sisters came to me and said, have you heard? Father Maro David is dead. He said, as soon as he received that, goose pimple and sweat appeared all over his body. He started panting. He took phone and called one of the father in the other houses. The father now said, no, no, it's not Mario David, it's Tony Dibia. Not Mario Dibia, it is Tony Dibia. He said that was, I said, hey. Immediately she picked the phone and called me and said, Father, take this thing very seriously. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, put yourself aside and see that you are dead and see what happens. You can see how people are panting, crying. And again, some will laugh. Some will smile. The death of Father Tony Dibier and the death of all these fathers dying. Within this last month, about four in different houses is died. Four or five. In Nemo State, one was assassinated. That one is bigger than me, Oyobe. Ojela Koishi. Imagine. Huh? Imagine. Ojela Koishi. Oh, go, go, go. Ojela Koishi. He went to Babhe. He went to Babhe. He went to Babhe. No appear. He back that was the end of that priest. The end of destiny career. The same thing. Another one was with another person. They went to preach in the riverine area. They were in boat inside the center of the bo uh, river. Boat Nokbu. Very young priests. We were go ahead, go. He said, "Look, we didn't care." A young, energetic. I was telling my son, a priest. He called me and said, "Papa, what's up?" I said, "My dear, if they tell Tony Dibier that he will die in twenty years' time." He will never believe. He will not accept. He said, Tony, in the next 10 years he will die. Because this guy is full of energy. It's a pity he has not worked in a car area. He only worked at Akomas. He worked in St. John as a seminarian. <laughs> and he's a builder. Eugene SPC, I want the station of the cross. He, he's one that took the face of that church to the next level that they are building on. Jen Akumaz. Yeah, no local area Akumaz. Jen Lawin Ola Unri Buzo. And I said, Iye di lo haru. Ano wun hosi kwa? Fada di bia, Iye di di la haru. Ika hosi kwa ho. So you will not say, because you are building, Yeah, wun hoko. <laughs> oh yeah. Father, we need to ask God to show us the way. Teach us what we should do that we may gain wisdom of heart. Wisdom of brain is not wisdom of heart. The wisdom of heart is different from the wisdom of brain. But the one that God gives is the wisdom of heart. Wisdom of brain, you can get it from your lecturer in the classroom. That is intelligence. You see, God wants you to hear this. And that is why we must be very careful. But it is my prayer that you shall enjoy tears of joy. 
you will sing a new song. You shall enjoy tears of joy. Fulfill long awaited testimony. EJ for long. You see it coming true. You waited for long and you see it coming true. You waited for child. The Bible says, Sarah said, God has brought me joy and laughter. Everyone who hears about it will laugh with me. Then she added, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have born him a son in his old age. Akekoma. People who never believe that you will live in a good house, eh? they will be surprised to see you enter a good house. I pray that God will answer our prayers. That you will find tears of joy. You will experience tears of joy. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. No matter how it delays, it will surely come. The tears of joy will surely come. Amen and amen. Your tears of joy will surely come. I say your tears of joy will surely come. I say your tears of joy will surely come. I say your tears of joy will surely come. I say your tears of joy will surely come. Stand on your feet, lift up your hands. Psalm 91 verse 7 says, He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. Father Lord, I pray for your children here. While we are embarking on this third year, three years anniversary program of being here. Father, you can see that the battle is tough. Things will not just go easily here because it is a battle. But we know that in your own way and in your own time, we shall win. We shall celebrate. Let things work out for our good in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up our right hand and we declare in prayers that everything you have destined for us, that the enemy has refused us from having, by the power in your name, in your supreme presence on this altar, let that thing that is ours, that the devil is holding, be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Lift up your right hand. I know you have the pamphlet with you. We are going to say this prayer after I have said this. When the Lord brought us out of Jerusalem, it was like a dream. God is a deliverer. God is a healer. When God performs his miracle, it looks so simple. We pray that God will give us the understanding to see him at work. There are many ways in which God has delivered us and we don't know about. I pray that with wisdom and understanding, we here on this mountain, we see the hand of God at work in our families. In the name of Jesus. Bring out your prayer pamphlet, page 9. Let's say the prayers there quickly. We can't say all of them, because there are many. We'll take few and continue from tomorrow. So we take only seven for today. Prayer number one. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy the plans of the wicked to take away the sources of my joy and happiness in Jesus' name. I oh, yeah, lift up your hands. Can't you see this prayer? I don't know the plans of the enemy to take your joy, but I destroy their plan in Jesus' name. I scatter their plan in Jesus' name. I uproot their plans in Jesus' name. Upon their plan, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Prayer number two. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that what I have rejoiced for we never turn to sorrow in Jesus name Buzekayelu what you have made you maybe you, you are happy that you have missed your period for one month, two months you are happy, oh God has done it for me suddenly they say no way it will never turn to sorrow 
Your testimony will not done the sorrow. Your testimony will not done the sorrow. In the name of Jesus. Prayer number three. Oh God, turn my mockery to my jubilation. In Jesus' name. Whatever the enemies have used to mock you, I see God turning it over for your good. God will turn it over for your good. God will turn it over for your good. Somebody shout amen three times. Listen to me. Eh? Every family eh, is destined to celebrate. How can you spend one year without celebration? Father, I challenge everybody here. Before December, there will be a celebration in your life. There will be a celebration in your family. There will be a celebration in your family. In three months time, I see you celebrating. In three months time, I see you celebrate. I see you celebrate. You will see change. You will see new life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, you shall end this year with joy. 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 Somebody shout, yeah! So shall it be. I don't want to keep you very long. I want to make sure you go quickly. Prayer number four. Let us say, want to go. In the name of Jesus, I scatter the plan of the wicked to stop the celebration of my family this year. In Jesus' name. I don't know what you want to achieve this year. You want to become pregnant this year? You want to begin your foundation this year? You want to begin your new house this year? Lift up your hand, I declare. God will bless your expectation. God will bless your expectation. God will bless your expectation. In the name of Jesus. Prayer number five. One to go. I decree and declare that my expectations this year must come to pass in Jesus' name. Prayer number six. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stop the celebration of the wicked in my family. Prayer number seven. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive my womb, finance, business, marriage, and all parts of my body. Receive it now. 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 All parts of your body that the enemy took away, receive it now. All parts of your body that the enemy stole, receive it now. All parts of your body that the enemy uprooted, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, as you lift up your hands, I connect myself to the grace and the anointing upon our Father in faith. Must he not see best to see where? He is a man that God has used to touch my life. I connect myself to the grace upon his life. And through that grace, I declare that somebody here, God will restore what the enemy has taken from you. God will restore what the enemy has taken from you. God will restore what the enemy has taken from you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stop the celebration of the wicked. All those who are celebrating you, all the wicked people celebrating you, I scatter their plan. I scatter their plan. I scatter their plan. I stop that celebration. I stop that celebration. I stop that celebration. I stop that celebration. In Jesus' name. So shall it be. May God answer your prayers. Tomorrow we shall continue. Please repeat this number one to seven today seven times. How many times? Seven times. Repeat it how many times? Seven times. The next seven hours. Every hour. Repeat it. And the seven prayer points will work for your good. The seven prayer points will work for your good. The seven prayer points will work for your good. You can see. It is, it, we are enjoying the delay at the at, at nature head bridge and I think it is good for me now I love what I'm doing now my people hear this, lift up your hands say after me, Father, Father. Ma, 
Say, Father, every power that disturbed me, disturb them. Every power that disturbs me, disturb them, disturb them by fire, by thunder, by fire, by fire. Somebody destroy their kingdom. Areke Bobo Shande, Iare Bobo Shalama, Prakondo Sigebo, Prakondo Rikeba, Oriya Baba Shay, the Lord is the King, the master of my life, no power can destroy me. Ira Kando Si, Iare Bobo Shande, Oriya Bakose, Le Brokondo, Mama Makande, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand of war, release seven fire into their camp. Fire! Lift up your hands. I know you are going to your market now. It's already time for us to go, but we give God more 30 minutes. Hear this. Every power that swallowed your blessings. If you can look up to Jesus now and release fire, fire will make them for me them out. In the name of Jesus. They must forbid your blessings. They must forbid your blessings. You shall have tears of joy. You shall have tears of joy. They must vomit it now. They must vomit it now. They must vomit it now. One, two, three, go! Jesus is the King of Kings. Rakaba, rakaba, ba, 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 ba. Prepopo se de rikaba. Yaga reke popopo se. Makanduri, kaba kanduri. Makanduri, kaba babate. Somebody receive it now. Wherever they are. Tears of joy in my family can never be stopped by any power. Can never be stopped by any kingdom. Can never be stopped by any forces. My brother will celebrate. My sister will celebrate. My auntie will celebrate. My uncle will celebrate. In our movement, in our joy, in our testimonies, we must celebrate. Open your mouth and find the battle. Open your mouth and find the battle. Wherever they are, whoever they are, fighting you, fighting me, fighting for that. Wishing me dead. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, Mama, mama, God, oh, Mama, mama, God, oh, 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 God, God, oh, God, God, oh, God, I don't know what is happening. They are in their market. They are in their school. Wherever they are. We have gathered as the chosen ones. We have gathered as the chosen ones. We come against them. That kingdom fighting me. That kingdom fighting you. That kingdom fighting us. That kingdom fighting my brother. That kingdom fighting my sister. That kingdom fighting the Catholic houses of Israel. That demonic power holding us to sage. I scatter your power. In the name of Jesus.